Well, thank goodness for Charlie Blackman, who gave fans of Coors Field something to cheer for Wednesday night as he smacked his 34 dinger of the season into the second deck in the bottom of the seventh. Hello everyone, Alexis Perry here, back with another Denver Post Sports Minute. Colorado couldn't overcome a strong showing from Giants starter Johnny Cueto, who allowed just one earned run and five hits and five innings on the mound. Defensively, we witnessed something incredibly rare from Nolan Arenado, who picked up just his seventh air of the season and the top of the first to load the bases. The Giants would then snag a pair of runs after that. It seemed like Kyle Freeland was going to recover just fine as he retired all three batters he saw in the second and escaped some serious trouble in the third, but the RBI double he gave up in the fourth proved to be detrimental to his night as he was then relieved by Carlos Estevez. All in all, Freeland gave up five runs, three earned, and three and a third. Things didn't get much better for the Rockies, however, as the Giants continued to rake in the runs, totaling 11 on 17 hits, including a 445-foot homer by the former Rockies catcher Nick Hundley in the eighth, the official cue for Rockies fans to head to the parking lot. 11-3, the final score, and Colorado missed their opportunity to gain some seven Separation from the Brew Crew, who lost 7-1 to the Cincinnati Reds, and they are now two and a half games back. While the St. Louis Cardinals beat the Padres 3-1 and sit just two games back, and things don't get any easier as Colorado now visits Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers tonight in La La Land. The action starts at 8:10 local time. Meet me back here at DenverPost.com 12 hours later for the recap. I'll see you then.